grade. This is Mrs. Jarrett. I'm a third grade reading teacher at Pleasant Valley. I know the past few weeks have been pretty crazy, and I don't know about you, but I'm really missing school right now. All of your teachers have been a little lost without seeing your happy faces every day. Besides not seeing your smiles, the other thing that has made this extra weird is we don't have a good routine to follow every day. You may not know this about your teachers, but we love to-do lists and schedules. And it got me wondering, are you feeling a little lost too right now? I think I might have a solution to your problem. It reminded me of a routine that doesn't have to change even if we're not in school. Can you guess what that routine is that I'm talking about? It's reading! So today I want to remind you that there are a few simple routines that you can do anywhere to help make reading the best it can be. A good first step in making your reading the best it can be is finding a good reading spot. Your reading spot should be somewhere with few distractions. You should be very comfy. I remember when we talked about this in my class, the student came up with great ideas like making a reading fort or picking a special chair in their living room or making a special space in their own bedroom. Anything could work, just as long as it's quiet, comfortable, and you can focus. It's also important that you find just right books. To do this, flip to a page in the middle of your book. If you find that there are five or more words that you aren't able to read, the book may be a little too tricky for you. Remember, you also want to push yourself as a reader, so you don't want to pick books that are too easy. Another good reading habit, along with picking a just right book, is finding books that you love. Maybe look for books written by an author that you enjoy. I know I really like Judy Bloom and all of her fun characters, so I'd be sure to look out for a Judy Bloom book. But you can also pick books on topics that you like, like dogs or baseball or school. The back of the book usually gives you a little sneak peek for what it will be about. Reading this sneak peek should help you when you're trying to select a just right book. This may look differently, though, if you're trying to read from a computer. Be on the lookout for quick descriptions that the website might include whenever you're choosing your book. Also, don't forget to look at the pictures. After you have a just right book that you know you're going to love reading, you need to make sure you read it like gold. Every word on the page is valuable. It's all part of the story. Can you imagine reading a book like Win Dixie, like a curmudgeon? Oh, put yourself in the character's shoes. Reading like it's gold is a great way to check for comprehension. If you're reading and you're not sure how a character is feeling or what's happening in the story, it's a good clue that you need to stop and reread. Another helpful tip for growing as a reader is to study your reading patterns and set goals for yourself. My students use a reading log to keep track of how long they read and how many pages they read during that time. It might be a good idea to start a reading log for yourself at home while we're not in school. I know your teachers would love to see it whenever we get back and you might even be able to set a few reading goals for yourself. Now, if you've got a great book that you love and you're reading it for long amounts of time, it's always important to do this last step, and that is talking about your books. Some of my favorite ways to talk about books are retelling the most important parts, sharing a part of the story that you really enjoyed or that you thought was really exciting, and sharing the predictions that you have for what's going to happen next. One of my favorite things to do, though, is to say why I enjoy a book and maybe tell a friend why they might enjoy reading it, too. This week, be sure to find a good reading spot. Pick a book that's just right for you and that you're going to love reading. And make sure that you read it like it's gold. And talk about your books with somebody at home. 
My other teacher friends and I have posted some reading lessons to help you practice some of the things that we talked about today. Along with these lessons, we have provided some online reading options for you to try, just in case you don't have many books at home. You may come back to this video as often as you need to remind yourself of how to make reading the best it can be. Remember, all of your teachers miss you so much. And we will be excited to see that you're working on your reading lives at home. Stay safe, stay healthy, and get reading.